This is the most annoying and poorly designed part that by Volkswagen. And they just literally just made it as a cash grab because they know how to make this part a hundred times way better. But no, they decided to make this. So you spend a lot more money on fixing their, I wouldn't say mistakes because they knew what they were doing and they'd done it on purpose. So this is the original intake. So if you come closer, this is the original intake and it sits roughly like this. Obviously it won't, won't fit now anymore. So the way it sits on the engine, the air filter is actually housed inside of it, which is kind of dumb because why would you want uh, the air filter right above the hot engine? But nevertheless, but the main issue with these uh, top mounted air filters is the, the, the reason how they mount. They mount onto these pegs and then there's like little grommets inside them in every hole. There's four of them. So there's one, two, three, four. And then these little pegs, there's one, one that was here and then there's two in the back. But the issue is with them, as the car gets hot and cold, the plastic eventually gets bristle and they snap off. As well as these little grommets, they just disintegrate. And this is where the issue begins. For set off for those grommets that go into this, it's almost 30 quid and the pegs are almost 50 quid. No, but you may be asking, so what's the big deal with this snap off? This just sits on top of the engine. Well, the issue is, especially on this engine, is the engine has the high pressure fuel pump right on the top, as well as, a, as quite a few PCV valves and tubes. So what happened on here, car went into limp mode and there was it was just running rough, wouldn't get any power and sort of. So I grabbed the edge of the, that cover and it was loose. And when I found out it was loose, I straight away knew because I read the code and he had, there was a code for no sensor with the high pressure pump. Knew that there was going to be an issue with the high pressure pump. And when we took that off, well, and behold, the connector was snapped. But other issues I found that people have, once the cover goes loose, they can either snap your PCV system. But the most common one is when um, the original cap is two piece cap. So when you take it off, this one's the upgrade version. The original one's like one piece plastic. So the bottom part comes away from the top part because as that jitters about, it vibrates so much, it breaks that cap into two and then you end up losing your cap somewhere. So this isn't, this isn't a problem just on the EA113 engine. This is a problem on pretty much every engine from the 2004 to 2009 generation of engines. So all the petrols, all the diesels, they all have the same intake design and all suffer from the same problem where the studs just vibrate off and they just disintegrate and then just end up causing a havoc. But why did they do that? They obviously know how to create an intake, like an air box that can be onto the side, especially on this engine. This is the original intake, you know, your filter housing. And there was so much space here, they could have easily put the air filter right here. But no, they decided to design this as a failure point. So you end up buying more parts. So the only easy, the best option is to prevent it from happening again, is go aftermarket, get yourself a cold air intake, but you get yourself a proper cold air intake, such as this Ram Air. But while we're in there, not many people realize that these engines suffer from a one thing called a cam follower failure. So the cam follower is what, uses, what the high pressure pump uses to pump the fuel and create the high pressure. So the cam follower goes up and down, obviously follows the cam and it eventually rubs through and destroys and sends pieces of metal through your engine. Engines from like uh, from 2000 to 2010 uh, suffer from this uh, issue, as well as this Mark 6 Golf GTI, because this is the older engine. This is edition 35, which is the EA118 engine, not the EA888. So this was the other car that had, was the last car that had the problem with the scan follower. But make sure you check yours. Some people say you should replace it every 10, every 20,000. I would say just keep checking them. If on every service, there's literally three bolts that you have to take off. One, two, three bolts, two tubes on the bottom. And then you can take this entire pump off and pull the cam follower out and just check for wear on it. It literally takes you up less than five minutes to do. And because there's no point in replacing a part that costs almost 70 quid just because someone says, just keep checking it. As long as there's no scoring marks, you're completely fine. So the original intake, it actually is quite limiting. All the people that map engines will tell you you need to replace it because it's sitting on top of the hot engine. It's not really that good. The pipe is too narrow. 
So actually upgrading your air intake, you might get better fuel economy as well as performance, but you'll have to get that mapped in. And it sounds way better, doesn't it? I recommend changing your engine oil as well as your filters once you've replaced your cam follower because you're obviously going to contaminate it. And as I said, if, you, if you're doing your service, you should just get out the pull the cam follower out and check it, especially if you don't know if it's been replaced in the past or not. We, we didn't know when was this replaced on this car, so we just replaced it. And it's a good thing that we replaced it because all the coating from the old one was gone. Other than that, it's quite straightforward um, on these engines. There's so many guides out there how to install air intakes, how to replace the, the high pressure pumps because it's such a common problem that everyone just knows about them. And it's all because of this piece of shit that's here on the floor. They knew too well what they were doing. They, they just, they've done it on purpose because on every Volkswagen before, they put the air filter here or here on the side. But no, they, they decided to be smart and over-engineer some They're great cars, but they have their Achilles here like every car in the world. If you found this video useful, make sure you leave a like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.